Hi guys. So I have a little light here. Hopefully makes it a little bit better. It's like gloomy. The sun's coming out. The sun's going away. I don't know what's going on. But I want to film this video for you guys because it's a miracle. We have some good news. So everything that's been on my channel lately that has been a little heavy, a little more serious, we have some good news, some positive changes. I feel like this video isn't going to get any views, but this is actually good and it's important to the conversation, at least in my opinion. So hopefully the people that need to hear it receive the message and watch the video because this is great. Let's just start from the top. This just came out. This is very new news and it has to do with kid fluencers. When I talk about a lot of these kids that are part of family vlogging channels, the one of the top concerns, I'm not going to say the top because I think it's like in the top three. One of the things is all of the money that these parents are making on the backs of their kids, buying million dollar homes, boats, jet skis, luxury vehicles, designer handbags, all of this kind of stuff. They're doing it because people want to watch their kids. You know, they're, they're not making content that is their own. They're putting their kids out there as props. So the money thing is a big deal. And if these parents are going to use their kids, those children should be guaranteed money when they turn of legal age. So I'm going to be reading this article that was on, um, ABC and I will link it down below as I always do. So during the pandemic, Shreya Nala Mathu, now 16, said she, like so many others, began to spend more time on social media, where she saw countless parents who documented their own lives and their kids' lives on different platforms. The more I fell down that rabbit hole, I kept seeing cases of exploitation. Shreya, a high school junior from Normal, Illinois, told Good Morning America, adding that she specifically was struck by seeing kids who she thought were not old enough to know the full ramifications of their online presence. And that goes into the digital footprint, the safety thing, the um, a bunch of weirdos having a parasocial connection with a child that is far too young to consent, all the things that I talk about on a normal basis. It continues and says, especially for very young children who maybe don't understand what talking to a camera means and they're not able to conceptualize what a million people looks like. They don't understand what they're putting out into the internet for profit and that is not going to be able to go away and that their parents are making money off of it, she added. On Friday, Shreya's home state of Illinois became the first state in the country to enact a law ensuring that children who are shown on social media are paid for their work. Illinois Governor J.B. Pritzker signed into law SB 172, legislation that creates a private right of action for child influencers against their parents that feature them in videos and did not properly compensate them. So all of these family vloggers and parents of kid influencers who are not properly saving this money for their kids to have access to when they are older and these kids are heavily featured, there are about to be a ton of court cases. And I, I said this a long time ago, you don't have to have a whole lot of common sense to know that years from now, this is going to be horrendous and ugly for the kids that are fighting back against their parents in the legal system. It continues and says the bill was sponsored by state Senator David Kohler of Peoria, who credits Shreya with bringing him the idea for legislation. Shreya said that she reached out to Kohler's office last year after realizing no states at the time had any legisl legislation protecting kid influencers. This high schooler made a huge impact by actually contacting somebody who was able to enact this change. 
when I went into it, I wasn't 100% sure what I was doing. I didn't go into it expecting a, to pass a bill within a year, she said. The new law, which goes into effect January 1st, 2024, adds kids on social media to the state's child labor law. It requires that children age 16 and under be compensated if when it, within a 30-day period they are in at least 30% of a video or online content for which the adult, whether parent or caregiver, is being paid. The person making the videos in which the child appears is responsible for setting aside gross earnings in a trust account for the child to receive at age 18. This is amazing. Other states need to follow suit. I'm going to do my part to contact my local representatives and not just talk the talk, but walk the walk. And I'm not here to, you know, just throw up some petition and do a bunch of lip service. I'm going to, uh, you guys have my word. I will do my part and I will be contacting, um, the people that I need to contact to actually do my part in my local area. The law does not include an enforcement mechanism by the state, but instead relies on the parent or caregiver to set aside the earnings for their child and gives the child an avenue for legal action if necessary upon becoming an adult. So this is saying, no, like these parents aren't going to be arrested or be thrown in jail or anything, but if they do not do their part, then it makes it easier for the child once the child becomes of legal age to actually get some justice because this was in play. The new digital age has given us tremendous opportunities to connect with one another, but it's also presented legal issues that we've never had before. Kohler said in a statement, we need to work with our children to see the problems they face and tackle them head on before any harm is done. There's already been a lot of harm done because of kids being on social media, but that's a conversation for another video. Jessica Maddox, a University of Alabama professor of digital media who studies social media platforms and culture, including influencers, called the legislation in Illinois long overdue. I am extremely pleased that Illinois has become the first state to pass child influencer protections. This is long overdue in the United States. She told Good Morning America, I hope other states follow suit very soon. I mean, that's, I think what we all hope is one state makes the change and then others follow. And I hope that gaining legislation isn't the end, but truly the beginning of the conversation. Maddox noted that she hopes future legislation passed by Illinois or other states includes additional provisions like allowing a person at age 18 to petition to have the content of themselves removed from social media platforms. That's very important. If we're going to make meaningful change around children of influencers and child influencers in this country, Platforms need to be a part of the conversation as well to make sure they are not inadvertently harming or profiting off the of children of influencers as well. I think it's just a matter of where platforms are willing to put their resources and willing to put their attention. The types of sharing content that have emerged as lucrative business online over the past decade include everything from family vlogs that document a family's day-to-day -day life to branded campaigns that feature kids advertising a particular brand of clothing, for example. Maddox said that she is optimistic that the new law in Illinois will lead to changes in content creation. So that was a mouthful, but this is so exciting. I know that I might be a little meh in this video, but I am actually really happy to see this change. Like I said, I hope other states kind of follow Illinois' lead. What kid influencers do you guys know of that are residents of the state of Illinois? I would be curious about that because I'm trying to think. I can't think of anyone off the top of my head that's in Illinois. I know Doherty Dozens in New York, Ace Family, LeBrant, Ballingers, they're all in California. I know a lot of them are in Florida. Do you guys know of any family vloggers or K 
Kitfluencers that are in Illinois that this might affect, drop them down below. I'm very curious. What a day. I, I really hope that we see this kind of, you know, continue and do really good things to protect these kids in the future because it's such a gross way to make money. I mean, we're, we're all on the same page with that, right? Like showing your child in a leotard for people to click on that video. How do you feel good making money off of that kind of content? Unless you're missing part of your soul. But nevertheless, I wanted to share this with you guys right away because it is a good day in the conversation of family vloggers and these kids having a digital footprint. It's exciting. It's good. And yeah, so tell me how you feel down below for now. If you like the video, please leave a like and a comment. And if you'd like to see more from me in the future, please subscribe. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.